All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Slushy Student 38, man. I know y'all seen my title and thumbnail. Here go the beautiful black Batmobile, baby, man. Man, I'm about to give y'all the top five must-have buys, man, that I feel like y'all should have. If you got a V6 charger, or if you got a charger in general, if you want to take some advice from the Slushy Student, man, it's some well written up advice. Stay tuned for the video, uh, watch my intro, smash that like button, help me get these videos recommended, guys. Hit that notification bell if y'all haven't. I got a lot of people that's not, they, they go watch my videos but not returning to watch them because they not hitting that notification bell. So smash that notification bell, and man, yeah, stay tuned for the video, guys. All right, so welcome. I hope y'all enjoyed the intro. Um, here's the, I'm about to give y'all a walk around the car. Here's the car, guys. Um, my baby right here, my V6 Charger, guys. It's 2014, once again. Give y'all a walk around this thing real quick. If y'all haven't seen my channel, and if y'all haven't seen the car before, if y'all just don't walk in here, I just wanna make sure y'all see it. I did, I did a bunch of work to it on this build, and I definitely got more coming. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start from five and count my way down to one and get y'all my number one mod that I feel like you should have on a V6 charger or, or on a charger in general, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna start with number five since we already moving into frame. And yeah, it's got to be the rims, man. I'm gonna come down here and show y'all. I got American Racing rims. Um, we could talk about the price. Like they was about 1300 and then it came with the tires and made about uh, 1600. Um, the tires are all weather, but yeah, um, yeah, these are sport rims too, by the way, on 18s. And yeah, I feel like this is um, like the first thing you should do to your v charger or V6 charger or any car, like any um, Dodge mobile that you have. You have to change those shoes, man. That's like the one of the things you should do. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure I put that out there. I mean, a lot of people might say that too. They might agree with me. But yeah, so let's move on to number four. All right, so yeah, number four, guys. My fourth mod, um, yeah, it's inside the vehicle. So let me show y'all. It's my pedal pads. I installed these things myself. Um, I'll leave all my um, links for my videos in the playlist on the right. And it's gonna be my car mod videos. But yeah, guys, this is my fourth mod that I have done to the car that I, I would say that you guys should get done or let's advise. I mean, it's just inside things that I, I chose, you know. But yeah, I'm about to move on to number three. All right, guys, here's my engine bay. This is like a live top five review. But I'm not, um, so no, number three, what I would say would be the performance mod right here. That you would get about 10 to 15 in horsepower, so can then cold air intake um you guys would get about like i said a couple of games i also changed the throttle body too when i changed the cold air intake i just wanted to get the full um, you can't see that but i wanted to get the full effect from the um, cold air intake guys so yeah um yeah so that was number three and i'm gonna move on to number two so yeah guys this is my number two mod right here um it's an oil catch can a lot of car heads know what this is, um, and a lot of um, guys in the Mopar um, family, they know what oil catch cans is. If you don't know, I'm about to tell you, it's a um, mod that catches the oil, obviously, because it's catching the um, name, but it catches oil and it filters it, so when it goes, the oil goes back into the engine, it's clean, if that makes sense. So that just preserves the life of your, of your engine, guys. And yes, I needed that mod. My, my car only has 60,000 miles on it, so I needed to keep that engine nice and fresh. And we're gonna move on to number one. Let me shut this up real quick. Move on to number one, y'all. Y'all should already know how I'm walking to the back of the car, what time it is, man. So if y'all don't know what time it is, we're gonna show y'all the back of this real quick. Right? It's not the tail light tan, it's not the sauce tips. It's the exhaust, guys. I, if you don't have, um, if you got a V6, you should get some type of exhaust work done, guys. I got my um, resonators cut off, but I still got the uh, mufflers. 
There's only one muffler, there's two resin in it. So I got the muffler still. So with that being said, guys, get an exhaust, some of the performance exhaust or some type of exhaust work done. Um, that's what I'm saying. And I'm gonna give y'all a code, start to close this video out. And then I hope y'all enjoy my top, my top must have, mods you should have on a V6. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I got a lot of stuff done to the car, um, a bunch of stuff. So if y'all haven't seen those videos, I'll leave that in the playlist. Listen to that. That was just resonators deleted, guys, and I haven't deleted the muffler. So I'm going back to get some more work done. Stay tuned for the channel, guys. I'm I'm happy every time I say that. Stay tuned for the channel, man. Stay tuned for all the videos I got, guys. If, like I said, man, smash that like button, man. Get me to what 3K by the end of the year, man. That's what, that was my goal personally, man. So yeah, man. If y'all new to the channel, like I said, thanks for watching. It's your boy Slushy Student 38. Stay tuned for the next video, man. And we out of here, guys. Peace.